Hi everyone, we are back in the Maker Lab and in addition to the variety of 3D printers that we have, we are also very fortunate to have some additional types of technology and machines. And today we are going to take a closer look at operating our laser cutter. Uh, this is a full spectrum laser. It's a 45 watt laser. It's uh, manufactured by some very intelligent, creative engineers based in Las Vegas and it's a lot of fun to work with. Uh, the gist of it is you're going to have a laser firing through this tube and it is reflected off a number of mirrors and focused and sent down through a lens and basically literally burns your material. And it works in a couple different ways and I wanna show you some examples of products made by students in the past. So the, the, the two primary methods of cutting are raster and what that means is taking an image here's a photograph of our illustrious faculty obviously our logo another logo and if you happen to be familiar with a dot matrix printer how it just goes back and forth and back and forth and it fires as it interprets the uh, how dark it needs to be the image. Uh, and so here, obviously, it, it's just firing where the etching is being made. There is President Obama. And so you can take a photograph and you can scan it, or you can make an image, uh, even in the Adobe softwares, AutoCAD, any of the CAD softwares, and use a raster. We also even have uh, Ceramark. This is a material that you can spray on metal and you can essentially scar the metal. We can't cut metal with this 45 watt laser. We can't cut glass, but we can etch on them. So that's, that's a nice capability. So in addition to raster, the other method of cutting is what's called vector. And vector is basically just the laser is following the line that you have created be it in, again, once again, in AutoCAD or some type of CAD software or just a simple um, line drawing that is scanned in. So this is a really powerful tool. If you notice on this architectural model, that brickwork, imagine trying to make that manually. Uh, in fact, this entire model was made essentially utilizing the laser cutter. If you notice the verbiage down here, that was using the uh, the raster option. So utilizing both types of cutting in this particular model. These are 3D busts that uh, 204 students scanned themselves and then took that scan and brought it in to a file type, uh, basically a 3D model. And there is a Autodesk software that will slice it and then they just use simple corrugated cardboard and if you notice there's a couple different methods and alignments and uh, options that you can use to create some really cool effects there. The other thing that is uh, very powerful in the vector option is you can assign different speeds and powers to different layers. Uh, and we're gonna go over that a little bit once we jump into the software and, and look at that. With raster, you really only have one power and one speed, and it's just going through and doing that DOM matrix again. So, so this is the tool we're going to be using, and today we're gonna have some fun. Um, we created just a simple, this is a, when it's cut out, it's going to be a Maker Lab box, and this is being done in AutoCAD, as you may tell. And then we also have a, this is just a, our friend, the Joker, that has been sketched out and we are going to scan him and we're going to raster him on a, a board to get the two different types of methods shown uh, for us utilizing the laser. So without further ado, let's jump in and have some fun. Mm -hmm. 